Take a look at your screen. Behind these cards are 10 pairs of images. Here's a sneak peek. In a moment, you'll have five seconds to memorize the location of each pair, which should be plenty of time. Ready? Go. Now we're going to flip over just one card. All you have to do is call out the number of the matching card. You have three seconds. Ready? Go. Did you choose number eight? There's the other wrench. If you missed it, don't worry. You'll have two more chances. Take a look at the objects one more time. Ready for another? Here's the next card. Did you pick one? There's the football. Take one more look at the board. Let's do one more. Did you pick 18? There's the other pair of headphones. If you couldn't locate all three pairs, don't worry, you're like 90% of the people we surveyed. But did you notice some of the ways we made the game more stressful? By adding tight time constraints and the loud noise of a ticking clock, we set off your brain's alarm bells. It's the same thing that happens to most people when they have to speak in public. And as comedian Ben Bailey knows, the physical symptoms can be dramatic. You can't remember what you're gonna say next, then your heart starts pounding, your tongue feels so big it's filling your entire mouth, you lose your train of thought, and you're dead in the water, right? That is exactly what happened. Yeah, I know, I was talking about you. It doesn't happen to me. Ben is right, and every stress response he just mentioned is triggered by your amygdala. When you're facing stress, the most primitive part of your brain, the amygdala, signals a flood of hormones into your bloodstream that includes adrenaline and cortisol. These hormones cause your breathing to quicken, your heart to pump faster, and your senses to become sharper, all in an effort to combat any perceived threat, even if that threat is just a tough crowd or your daily commute. 